All right, guys, welcome back. So I wanted to keep working on the the new uh, support that was announced. Um, uh, that was last week. Um, with the new starter sync run, right? But we want to be able to play this this um deck now, right? We want to be able to have a a viable build, and it's always the goal, right? Format after format. Oh my God, even he uh, meistered my um. My doppel. I, mean, I can still get in going, which is huge. Uh, but um, yeah. So format after format, after uh, balance after balance. We, I, I try and work on this deck, right? Because it's some, it's one of my favorite decks, one of my favorite archetypes. So trying to find the, uh, a proper build to play competitively is always the goal. Look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at that. That's insane, man. <laughs> that freaking the cow shoulder is it, it's just amazing in this deck. It just gives you the filter that you need to get you the cards in the graveyard, let you search for junk or double, whatever you're missing. And now, for sure, you can uh, add auto sync on, which would potentially um, complete your scale, which is insane, right? It's insane. And utilizing the pendulum engine, which is something I've always um, um, been kind of gravitated towards because it, it, it bypasses the, the normal summon, right? Because like your junk is like it's a, it's a singular. Um, normal summon which is eh give me a little bit like if, if it gets stopped it gets inter interacted with it can be annoying it just does so much for the deck which is um it's something i really really like get ashed my fullest burial but I, I i'm a bit iffy in this card oh i got troll <laughs> that was just uh, unfortunate um but uh, i wanted to to the test the allure once again because you have so many dark targets um and he just passes and I'm like, okay, he just passed. Well, I mean, I guess it seems like he opened up a hunt, a bunch of hand traps. So, um, yeah, I mean, Zoo is just, oh my god, look at this. <laughs> yeah, he just opened a bunch of hand traps. But once uh, Speeder resolves, um, it gives me um, a sense of uh, certainty that I can end up particular board. Which is, I, I went for the safe play, um, going for the crystal wing, right? Just having a, a board support, some type of board presence because. Uh, I, want, I want to have something for uh, at least to hold them off because I, I, I almost went for the risky play where I went for the dark uh, chaos ruler but I wasn't sure if that would be the the right choice that, that was a bit more greedy um, a much more greedy play but um, I just ended up working out because it, it seems like he I, I assumed he just opened up a bunch of hand traps that's the nature of the deck right they have like a bunch of hand traps and um, and they just have a singular way to get this um, to Dryden, so just like strike, hand trap, hand trap, Dryden, right? And then like, and then now that they have um, uh, Zeus, they can just control the way you 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 attempt to play the following turn. I assume they they, they attack with an XYZ, right? But it just it can be a bit a bit oppressive uh, uh, if, if if you can't answer it right, because like odds are they're holding you back with their hand traps, and this can be a bit like oh my god, what the hell do I do now? And I'm playing his Drytron, and then he uh, he ends up going for ultimateness, and um, I was like, well, if he summons Vanities, there's no, there's like literally no main deck out to to Vanities, like there isn't, which is something you have to reflect on. Be like, okay, well maybe I do need. Um, okay, this is okay, it's kind of weird because like he just starts negating everything, and he just pops this guy. I'm like, okay, it's two cards left. He just negates it. I was like, okay, what what's happening here? Like a Rota, he negates it again. I'm like, what the? I was like, what's this guy doing? Like, he's just getting everything. Like, okay, like, okay, so he has nothing left, right? He has nothing left. So I'm like, I, 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 I'm testing uh, Revolution Dragon. I'll get more into it. Um, but from, from I guess, from face value, from what the obvious is, is like, it, it lets you search Dark One, which is uh, the main key cards that you want to summon are Dark, which is Doppel, right? Doppel and Junk. And I have the last card in my hand is. Um, uh, junk sync run and he changes his level. I'm like, oh damn, I didn't even realize that. But nonetheless, I was like, okay, let me just. I can still climb into a uh, junk speeder because I play Quan deck, which is something really crucial. I, I really um, enjoy having because like it, it lets you climb into it. It's just another way to, to get to what your deck is meant to be doing. So I go for the cash ruler for it because I was like, hmm. I need to I just try to dig for more cards. And I was like, wait, wait a second. I can just nuke his entire board. But then I forgot that this guy can be targeted. So I was like, okay, well, what would I do? Because I, I, th I thought I had game. In my mind, I was like, I have game. I just pop everything in type of game because it's going to be 55 plus PK, that's 85, right? So, but then I, forgot, I didn't read this guy. He can't be targeted. So I was like, oh, I should have read that. <laughs> so I ended up having some sort of interactive uh, play, right? Where I can still uh, like negate something at least. 
If you just like a Ben 10, then I'm kind of kind of in trouble. But nonetheless, it's still something. And that that I, I, that would just that, that's a perfect example of how um uh you just shouldn't play that way. Like that, you, you should just negate, negate, negate. Like like it's a perfect example. Just wait and 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 time your your things properly. So at this point, like I said, it's you have literally no out. There's like no you don't. Play, I'm not playing gamma. I'm not playing any droplets. Any 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 form of of interactive during during points. Or it's, it's mainly all consistency cards and all cards that are meant to contribute to what you're, you're trying to do, right? So I'm like, well, I, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not really thinking about. Okay, uh, let's just see where this goes. Because there's been times where I've, I've been able to pull it off, and I can, I guess, I'll grind this particular oppressiveness, right? But I was like, what if, if you just a, a golden lord, I just lose. Because <laughs> I was like, okay, well, hopefully it doesn't do golden lord. So then he was attacked and attacked with Zex, so but I was like, he has no materials under this Zeus. So I was like, okay, well, okay, let's see where this goes. So then I go ahead and use um, Revolution Dragon, adding a Dark Worm. And I attempt to activate the effect, and he just orders me. And I'm like, majority of this deck is like all spells, like tuning, pot of pot of, pot of avarice, um, all the power spells are, spe are, are, are spells. <laughs> so it's like, what am I gonna do? So he just wins the summon of the dark one, but it didn't. Make, it made no sense to me because it just goes to the graveyard and I can search anyways. So I wasn't too sure what, what, what was the, the I, I'm, I'm not sure. I think he just wanted to protect. I, I honestly don't know the, the reason behind all this stuff. So then it, I, it it lets me have my pendulum summon, which is huge. So I'm like, oh my, did I just, did I, <laughs> is this just happening right now? I was like, what the heck is happening? So then I go ahead and, this is why I love this little guy. There's such a singer, the singer which is scale, which um, you have to accommodate for it. So having the cards in your extra deck like, um, to favor a level nine and the level six is always like a big deal. And sometimes you're gonna have this, uh, another auto in your hand, and you're gonna put it in a skill to uh, reduce its level to one, right? And it'll make it a tuner, which is which is really really cool. Um, go ahead and continue. So I go croc, croc draws a card, and I just go for. Uh, Silent destroy and just destroy everything and he's solemn so it's over but nonetheless it's still testing um, the build right we want to be able to um, find a viable option right not just get lucky not get not just get sacky and hope they break you know that, that's something that like that's like the worst feeling right like the fact that you won but only because they just didn't open up all optimally right and that's something you do not want to be doing um, so I baited the the dragon that way uh, so I can ensure, and I, I, I completely forgot that he used the effect on, on on the on the guitar. So that's why I went better for his enforcer. But I was like, well, there was no reason to go better for his enforcer. So I was thinking like, what did I do? <laughs> so th that was like a, a major misplay on my part. So I'm just trying to climb into um into uh, into more things, or just draw into more things, and just end on a, an abyss. So I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. So then he goes Dark Ruler, I was like, Dark Ruler, and he summons this guy, I'm like, oh, he's gonna bounce my guy, okay, that's fine. I mean, I, I can make it again, because I have, um, uh, uh, Chaos Ruler in the graveyard, right? So then I go ahead and, um, yeah, special, look at this, this is so cool. And I just put it, I, I just go push him for damage, like, let's just push him for damage. This so cool. And then, uh, right here, I, I try to set up a Satellite Warrior play. Uh, for those of you that, for those of the not, the not, uh, I guess, familiar with the sinker um, decks, um, they would not expect this setup, so they just plan into it, you know. He, he intended to go battle phase, so I had to do it there. So I'm just bouncing my style at warrior. I was like, okay, well, I mean, he's a 31, so I need to be able to just get something going here. So then I, I'm like, okay, I have pendulum summon. I can sinker something with my scale. I, I can, I can for sure draw into something here, right? And I drawn to put it out of it, so I'm like, oh my god, are you ashes me? <laughs> oh, this is so bad. I think what I should have done, the smart play would have been, is like bait the ash with this. Because he 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 knows that I have 2k on the board. Even a junk sink corner, it, it would be uh, sufficient enough to end the game. So I'm sure he would have just ash this. And then I just flip pot of pot of avarice and then recycle all my things and then hopefully draw into like a monster or something, you know, but uh, I, I got too happy, I got, I got too excited and it just didn't work out. So I, this is what I'm testing a lower, I just did, it didn't work out. So I got, I go attack, put him in at 11, I'm like, okay, this should be, this should be fine, just, cause it's, it's a hand trap deck, but he top dicks a zoo. I'm like, that's like the worst case scenario, because like now I'm already seeing the, the end result, which is 
Okay, well, he's gonna Zeus me, and he does. He has a Zeus. I put in defense. I, I can survive two blocks because I have um, I have double um, cyber synchro in my grave, or triple cyber synchro in my grave. So if he tries to attack, um, he just um, he won't be destroyed by battle. So um, yeah. So right, right there, I was I was like, so I just try to go for something here because I. Uh, I can't remember what, what card I had in my hand. I can't remember. Uh, it's a bit fuzzy. But I'm like, okay, this is it's over because all you need is a monster right now. This <laughs> that was, I was, I had so I just had hopes. So I was like, oh my god, let me go ahead and show you deck list. Okay, so here's the deck list. Okay, so I wasn't too sure, um, because I, I kept th these are the ones I kept swapping the cards out. So I was going between the lure, between draw plays, between uh, twisters, between. Uh, desires. I wasn't too sure which one to incorporate. So the first round was okay. Let's test a lure. Let's see how good it lures with this particular build. Because the, the entire uh, premise of the deck is okay. I want to have the the pendulum summon at my disposal as consistent as possible, right? Which is why I, I added the revolution. Um, Auto's revolution dragon, right? Because this one searches this card, right? So you're basically having more cards of this card, so you can um. Emphasized on a pendulum summon, which is you, what you, which is what you want to do. You want to, you want to put a pendulum summon all these guys, right? As, and since you have like a proper high scale to pair up with this, it makes um, the, the the possibility of that happening more likely. Which is why I kind I kind of want to have this as well, but it, it's a bit risky because you do not want to banish these guys like at all. These are like pretty important to to the initial concept of the, of the deck because you want to be able to not be bound by the normal summon that 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 junk. Is um unfortunately under right because like it's consistent right the consistency is there we there's so many ways to get the junk and this in the grave I, like it's, it's it thanks to this card thanks to junk converter but you want to have like a secondary wave like the first wave or the primary summon would be this okay if, if they interact with this what happens next right so you want you, you want to have like a like a secondary or primary play Secondary or primary play that can be either vice versa, right? So like you, you can do this, this first or do this first do the pendulum seven second do the pendulum seven um, first like you, you want to have that option depending on, on what you're um, going up against and um, And this just uh, seemed like it was really good and not only does this search uh, the, the dark worm it gives you a bit of resiliency because it's um, lets you revive your crystal wing and your abyss which is uh, it gives you like a like a sense of of grind factor, right? Because like you have four reborns that you can reborn your boss monsters, which is huge, right? And the fact that you can recycle these guys and put them back in the deck and not have to like manually like some synchronies again is huge. Like that's a big deal. Like like little things like that go unnoticed and and and, and it, uh, you gotta like you gotta consider this uh, as as a as a as something uh, of 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 the the deck's capability, right? And um. Same thing with this. Like this is, I, I still like this because I think if you play in the Pendulum Engine, you have to play this because this and this gives you speeder, and that's just hard to ignore. Like you just, you just can't ignore that. Like just, it seems like these two just go together. Like uh, Symphonic Warrior Guitar and uh, Otters, uh Synchron, because like, it's just, it's just amazing. The fact that you can do speeder with that is, like, what the heck, man? And the fact that it, it, it goes well with making the, the Chaos Ruler, right? Because that's like one. Before I was not liking this at all, but then eventually it just grew on me. Where I just like, okay, it actually it, it's actually pretty important because it can it gives you uh, grave setup. It mills the cards that you don't want, right? You don't you don't want to be drawing, and then it it gives you a potential um, scale and a potential junk synchron and a punch potential double, and and that's really really huge. Like I, that's that's really important, and especially now since I'm playing your lure, right? Because that gives you a dark. You, uh, just allure it away if you have like access junks, access uh, synchron. Just help you dig further into your deck. Get to your reborn. Get to your foes. Get to your one for one. Get to your pot of adversaries because let's say you haven't utilized your pendulum summon yet, and you uh, this resolve and they're like they interact like, towards the end where because sometimes people do that they be they be a little, they get a little like a little little paranoid so they interact towards the, they, they don't want to interact at the beginning because they'll be like okay well now they could potentially do this so, okay it's fine we'll wait till the end and then they'll, they'll, they'll just wait the way the, the, they'll save the research toward the end but then by then you have this live and then since you have the pendulum so I mean you can just attempt to do a second push because the pendulum on it which is huge right it's special 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 and just continue to to push that way 
which is what I really like about the, uh, this particular build. And it gives it another um, sense of style, which is what I really like. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, but yeah, that's basically the deck. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah, I might do more videos of testing the droplets instead of the, the Lord of Darknesses. And same thing with this, like swap for this. Because there's a lot of back row decks and this deck struggles to back row and it's quite annoying. Um, so I'm not sure if it's weaker to back row or weaker to monsters, which is, you know, because like, hmm, it's kind of hard to play past the strike. Whereas like having something negate be negated uh, and, and still be able to use the the materials on board is, is a bit different. Same with Desire. Desire's having that plus one factor is that's amazing. But uh, it's just, this is what it is, man. This is what it is. <laughs> like I said before, I'm going to keep throwing all these ideas at you guys so you can maybe you'll catch something I didn't and then you'll be able to implement it and then change the deck and then just have like a different approach to it, right? Because um, that's the whole point. We want to have this deck be competitive, right? It's uh, it's a challenge. It's a ta it's a it's an uphill battle because we lost we lost Jet, but we're gonna be getting the the new Sword of Synchron support uh, later on, which is um quite cool. I'm gonna be posting more videos of the uh, those particular builds so. When it does come out, you have a sense of uh, a sense of, uh, of an idea of how you could potentially play it, but things can change because there might be a balance. Things might be not as good anymore, so it'll change. So that's just, that was, that's kind of that's kinda one of the reasons why I kind of shy away from uh, uh, playing with new new um, support because the format might be different. So one might not be well, what is good now might not be good then, or vice versa. But nonetheless, it'll just give you like a blueprint. Okay, well, maybe if, if it is the same, we can still play those particular cards. But for now, this deck is perfectly legal. You can play this deck right now. And there's nothing that's not uh, out. Um, it, everything's out already. But testing uh, this th these three, juggling these three, is the main concern. Uh, but that's going to be it. Hopefully, enjoy the video. <laughs> Subscribe if you have it. And thanks for watching.